Speaking of low expectations, you have before you, uh, I believe, the, 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 the time 100, times most 100 influential people. I bungled that, but I know you, you've been beside yourself over this. The bigotry of low, low expectations flourishes on this list. It really is amazing. They've got, they've got the categories are artists, art, entertainers, icons, and leaders. I don't know why artists and entertainers are different. I don't know why right. icons and leaders are different. And the criteria that they've chosen for this starts Wait, how with... How is Kamal Kunijani, the guy from Silicon Valley, how is he on the top 100 most influential list? Well, first, let, let me explain the priorities. It goes visible minority, good <laughs> okay. for diversity, then woman, and then are they influential r at all? And that's number three. They well, you know what? Followers. This would also say that there's a bias... Uh, for trannies who are what they call the barely passables in the community. Because it's a, if it's a passable, they wouldn't be a visible minority. No. So it's got to be someone who you're like, well, they're sprouting. That's the only <laughs> way they make a list. Well, what does influential mean? I think it means, say I was to say, everyone, you got to go vegan. Everyone, vegan, vegan, vegan. How many people would go vegan? I think actors assume they have a lot of influence because they have 17 million followers. But that's just because people like looking at you or they like when you're James Bond or something. It doesn't mean we're going to you for our education policy. So they're not influential. Yeah. Well, you know, that's a good point. It's a, we've talked about this before. If you look at late night hosts uh, on, on the main networks and cable television, and if you look at their interactivity online for the size of the audience that you would think they have, it is unbelievably uh, remote. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's, it continues to surprise me. Like, for example, when you look at Comedy Central, Comedy Central, the show Jordan Klepper is a new show. We were just talking about how, how terrible it is. It's after The Daily Show. Yeah. I mean, it, our numbers well, would just start massacre. With, starting yeah. with The Daily Show. Yes, you're, you're starting with The Daily Show. So yeah, yeah, so it could only, it could only get worse. Take John Stewart, have that, cut it, cut it in half, and then you have this guy, Jordan Klepper. <laughs> he has 70,000 Twitter followers, and no, but more importantly, no one interacts with him, and with so much money. Do you think there's a disconnect where they just, they, they've been conditioned to think, well, we spent this much money on advertising, so we have this much influ influence, and it doesn't work anymore? Yeah, that, that's the huge mistake with this entire list. And Trevor Noah is on the list, by the way. Oh. Yeah, every, it seems like there's, there's like a third black woman, but they're all entertainers or underachieving writers who have put out a book or a poem or something. And then every time they cut to a white guy, which is very rare and begrudgingly, you have someone like Carl June who trained children's T cells to fight cancer. Yeah. So that, or, or you got this guy, John Wei Pan, who uh, used quantum communication to declare quantum states of, I don't understand, something with photons. Right. So they're really, they're really trying to make clearly really like part Brown. of the 0 .01 top people in the world. And then he's with the main chick. The first one you get to is some chick who's, what's her name here? I, I think I got her here. She's in a movie with Kevin Hart. And uh, <laughs> well, that's Tiffany close. Haddish. That's it. Tiffany and Haddish. Kevin Hart wrote the write-up for her. Yeah, exactly. She's great. Well, you know, so it's it's kind of like maybe the person who split the atom wrote her forward. Maybe that's how you maybe that's how you make the list. I, though I will say I saw Hugh Jackman on that list. Is that is that just because he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> what the, his, does everyone not know that? Unattractive. You, you, that, you know what? That's exactly what we talk about here. First off, when I saw him on the cover of People, I, I thought, well, the show tunes when he hosted the Oscars, and he wasn't he wasn't just doing show tunes. It was very Ethel Merman, you know. There's no business like show. But I'm like, that's Hugh Jackman. Wow, he's wearing a lot of mascara. <laughs> then I see him on the cover of People magazine, full on like porcelain doll makeup, and then I'd heard the rumors that, of course, he was blatantly homosexual. And then I did see his wife, who, um, I mean, I hate to, but uh, uh, homely. In comparison to, you know, rated sexiest man in America, and I'm going like, ah, come on, all the pieces I get these beards, by the way, like Oprah's husband. Is sustenance so rare? What are we, in the Congo? No, he's not her like, husband. She never married him. Okay, whatever they are. Like, to, to live a lie like that, for what? <laughs> a a, a, a sub-zero fridge and free <laughs> spaghetti? Like, well, I don't understand why you want to be a whore to some homosexual and not have your own life. Well, it's, I'm pretty sure Desmond pathetic. is, uh, he's, he's getting free Oprah's favorite things, goodie bags. So <laughs> awesome. It's hard to fit a minivan in those bags, but somehow she does it. Um, okay, so, so who else do we have on this list? The Times 100 most influential. This is oh, actually, here's my favorite. So Prince Harry, 
Thank God for Prince Harry. Hasn't he been amazing this year doing all that <laughs> stuff he does? I do feel bad for him, though, going bald in the public eye. Like, that's really tough to do. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, his brother was the one. Sorry, Prince Harry. But I like well, Prince Harry. Look, it's Donald Trump, pretty influential guy, right? Could yeah. start World War III. That's, that's an influence. <laughs> and then Prince Harry, I don't know, he went to a, a ribbon-cutting ceremony and ate some cookies. And then his girlfriend... Well, she's Prince Harry's girlfriend. That matters. She t touched some starving little Ethiopian kid on, patted him on the head. We need her in the mix. <laughs> it, Sadiq Khan. Well, like you got Sadiq Khan and Justin Trudeau. They are influential in that Sadiq ruined London and Justin Trudeau is ruining Canada. That's, that's how do they put together this list and not, you know, how do they not have a footnote? Footnote like Sadiq Khan, by the way, did become a national embarrassment by proposing knife control, and you know it was rebutted by people simply stating two words, kitchen knives, and now you know his career is over. How do they not even mention? Do they not see the embarrassment from a lot of these people? I mean, no, I watched... they just, well, look, the elephant in the room is always women, and I'm sure women ran this thing, and. Uh, there I, don't is think, I don't think threat. with time it's women. I think it's gay men in New York. I think it's it, it's gay LGBTQ AAIP men in New York who want to make themselves feel good. Your, your neck of the woods, it, Gavin. What's going on there? Yeah. What? what? You, what's in, it's in your neck of the woods over there, time. What, what's in the water? You're right. The magazine industry in New York is predominantly gay, but it's also <laughs> heavily women, and they have the exact same taste. They both love Trevor Noah for no reason, but there <laughs> are negative write-ups in here. <laughs> I don't know any like, women who like Trevor Noah. I don't know one. Oh, oh, well, they have to be over 40. Okay. But, um, <laughs> they have Trump's EPA guy. He's on the list, and it's written by the previous EPA woman who was pushed out, and she hates his guts and thinks he's going to ruin the country, so she gets to do a write-up. I mean, these people are so blindly partisan that it's just weak, flimsy propaganda. Yeah. The, Millie Bobby Brown was in there. I know this. From Millie Trump. Bobby Brown. Stranger Things. She was the the, the least interesting part of is all she, of Stranger she Things. She number eleven. Yeah, eleven. Yeah. A little kid in Stranger Things. I thought Karen hey. Strong was on the list. I thought one of ours made the, <laughs> made the cut. <laughs> no, oh, not Karen. no one we remotely like is on this list. Even they even got the guy who was underneath Mugabe while all the white farmers were being assassinated down there, and then. He's there because he said, you know what, let's give the farms back. Yeah, yeah you want to give the farms back now that everyone's starving to death. How influential of you. Honorable mention Coney on that list. <laughs> it is, well, you know, it's like you talk about flimsy propaganda.